Hello friends, this is Durga again from University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. In this brief YouTube live video, um, I will continue uh, talking about uh, learning SQL using uh, Oracle. And uh, as part of uh, this one, we will talk about uh, we'll talk about uh, uh, overview about RDBMS. Um, there's a guy called Pod who is uh, the father of RDBMS principles. And uh, then we will see we will see brief history about him. We will talk about Cod's twelve rules, which are the foundation principles for any RDBMS. Uh, and then we will see few important use cases. Okay, so let's start with uh, RDBMS. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. Before RDBMS, the data used to be stored in files. And uh, uh, as you are aware, um, when you try to uh, uh, use a database for your application, or uh, uh, when you try to store your data uh, for your application, it has to be consistent. That means if two people transact uh, uh, among themselves by uh, exchanging a product for money, uh, the, uh, 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 the application should be smart enough to, to reduce the uh, uh, products uh, from the vendor and uh, 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 reduce the amount of money from the buyer. Buyer can transact through bank also. So the money has to be directed from buyer and credited to the, uh, 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 to the vendor, and vendor has to process the order. So to implement these things, the data has to be uh, in consistent state. Uh, so whenever uh, a vendor checks, he has to see the current details about what the money he got and what are the products he sold out. Uh, and what are the pro uh, orders that are still in pro process? So sometimes, even though he sold out the products, they might not be delivered. So he has to uh, uh, quantify his inventory as, uh, so that he can actually uh, uh, do his business in consistent fashion. So when you try to enable technology on top of such use cases, uh, it has to maintain a, a certain level of integrity with respect to data. There should be transactional capabilities, etc. And when it comes to relational database management system, those are inbuilt in that. Uh, the databases which were there before relational database management system, most of those features are not inbuilt. And it is it used to be very complex to build applications using those databases. Um, they, they are called as uh, just database management system or hierarchical database management system. There are many other terms which they used to refer databases of that time, around 20, 25 years back. So relational database management system, uh, the reason why it is called relational is some of the mathematical principles are introduced by COD uh, into, uh, into database management system. That's why it is called as relational database management system. And who is COD? COD is a computer scientist who used to work for IBM. And he invented the relational model uh, and the database management, uh, relational model for database management. Uh, and also the theoretical basis, uh, 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 that relational model actually serves as theoretical basis for relational databases. So he uh, uh, there is something called COTS 12 rules, uh, which, uh, which act uh, uh, as the principles uh, for, uh, for that relational model. So let's uh, search for COTS 12, uh, COTS 12 rules. And uh, actually, uh, there are 13 of them. The first one is kind of a foundation. Uh, what uh, what it says is uh, anything that relate uh, that claim to be relational database management management system, uh, it it should uh, manage databases centrally through its relational capabilities. And those relational capabilities are defined um, as part of the other rules. Okay. So don't worry too much about these rules. Uh, you will not be able to understand most of the stuff at this time. As we proceed further, I will try to explain uh, the concepts of uh, these 12 rules, uh, uh, up to what extent they are implemented um, as part of Oracle as a database. And that will make a lot of sense for you, rather than uh, breaking your head uh, on these uh, 12 or 13 rules at this time. So we'll come back to this uh, quite often, and we'll try to understand what these uh, uh, 12 rules actually mean, OK? 
and uh, also let me review the agenda on top of this uh, yeah now let's talk about use cases any mission critical application be it uh, a banking application uh, so if you are in india if you use hd hd fc or icici or sbi if you are in us bank of america uh, jp morgan chase etc you log into the data uh, you log into the application um, by passing your credentials username and password once you log in you will be able to see the uh, bank re uh, report and also you can credit your money to your friends on, uh, through online transfers and uh, uh, you can also um, uh, um, you can credit to your account or you can debit to uh, from your account to your friends account uh, so that is uh, uh, one of the typical use case you, which you uh, see on daily basis um, and uh, the uh, 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 to, uh, to get the consistent view the underlying database uh, which, uh, which is most likely oracle uh, play, play a critical role similarly if you go to amazon.com and uh, if you try to buy a product um, money will be created from your account and uh, uh, your product will be in uh, uh, probably in, uh, in in ordered state to begin with and then uh, as the processing is done as the product is shipped to you uh, the information is uh, consistently updated and again uh, uh, it, it most likely uh, it might be powered by it uh, rdbms such as oracle uh, so take any any example where two people transact uh, 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 transactions are required in almost all the cases we use rdbms and oracle is the most popular rdbms on top of it we have sql server informix uh, um, which are uh, owned by uh, sql server is owned by microsoft informix and db2 are owned by um, IBM, Sybase is another popular database owned by SAP, and then there are open source databases, MySQL, Postgres. Again, MySQL is owned by Oracle now. Postgres is completely open source even today. So there are a number of databases, but out of this thing, Oracle is the most popular database, followed by DB2 and SQL Server, which are very close to each other in the competition, then Informix, etc. Okay, so that being said. Uh, uh, that is brief for you about RDBMS. No need to break your head here. I just want to uh, set the context. That's why I have covered this. I don't want to get into too many details at this time. Uh, I'll be covering something called normalization quite extensively in two, three videos so that you understand the concepts of normalization in detail because those are the building blocks um, uh, of data modeling uh, and also a queries later point in time. And we will see as part of the subsequent videos. That being said, if you like the content of this uh, playlist or this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to share with your friends, you can click on share and you can share with your friends. And uh, 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 please uh, follow this uh, playlist and we will see um, uh, all the content within the next three to four weeks. That being said, thank you. Bye.